Hey there Broncos, this is Mr. Miller and this video is about Sora eBooks and how to access them on your Chromebook. Um, right now we're looking at the library website. There are a couple ways to access Sora on the library website, so let's look at those first. Um, underneath the read page we have this drop down menu and the third option is find an eBook or eMagazine Sora. If you click that link it'll take you to Sora. Also if you actually go to the read page uh, I have it open here. Notice that the Sora image and then a description of how to access it and how to log in is here at the top of the page. Both the image and this link goes directly to Sora. Now once you click that link most of the time it will take you directly to your shelf. Now the first time you log in you will have to choose your school which is actually Lee Summit R7 Schools not Lee Summit North and it's really easy to find just type in Lee Summit choose Lee Summit R7 Schools or type in your zip code and we will be the first choice. Um, after you choose your school you will be asked to authenticate with Google which on your Chromebook is no big deal on another device you might have to log in with your school account first just choose your school Google account it authenticates and then it takes you to the shelf. After you've done that once, most of the time on your Chromebook it just takes you directly to this page. So now on your shelf has all of the books, magazines, and audiobooks that you've checked out. It also has a history you can list and also it lists your holds as well. Now if I want to find a book or browse for books, I go down here to the main menu and I click explore. So I can browse by you know what's going on right now, magazines, gateways, popular books, new ebooks, and audiobooks, but I can also come up here and search. Now before we go to search, I just want to point out some of them are books and then some of them are audiobooks. The audiobooks are pretty obvious because they have headphones underneath. Once I find a book, whether through search or browsing that I'm interested in, I simply click on it and hit borrow. Um, now if it's already checked out, it might say place on hold. You can hit place on hold as well and it will email you when it is ready. So once I borrow a book, it will immediately open, or if I'm coming back later, I can go to my shelf, right, and then open any of the books I have. I want to show you what it looks like to open a book. So if I open a book, right, it goes right back to where I've left off reading, and that is a cross device. So if I'm on my Chromebook and then I go back to my phone, it will remember where I've left off no matter what device. It's pretty simple on a computer or on your Chromebook. You just swipe through the pages. You can make it two pages or one page. You can search within the book. You can make bookmarks and notes. And lastly, I want to mention when we're in here, you can change the size of the font, the type of font, and also the background to make it easier to read or just meet your preference. Um, last few things, going back to the shelf. I do want to mention, and I'll make a separate video, about how to add multiple libraries. So if you look on the menu, I have different options. And notice I've added five libraries. Um, whether it's in the card above or in the links below, you'll see another video about how to add the library and then more information about how to use Sora. Um, also how to use Sora magazines and how to use Sora on your personal device, whether it is a phone or tablet. Sora is a great resource. We have thousands of ebooks and audiobooks and magazines, and I strongly encourage you to check it out and use it.